guys, it's Katie, and I'm here today to give you an update as to how my TBR is going. So if you guys remember the video I made a couple months ago about my TBR for the rest of the year, this is just an update as to my progress as to how that's going. So here we go. So in that video, I told you I was going to read, I think, like seven more series slash books. So I was going to read Animorphs and Redwall, Sea of Trolls, the two books from the Rainwild Chronicle, which is Dragon Keeper and Dragon Haven, and then Origin and The Tale of Despero. So out of that list, I have completed Redwall, I have completed The Tale of Despero, and a couple more books in Animorphs. Um, and I have reviews for The Tale of Despero, Redwall, and The Sea of Trolls, which I will link below. Um, in terms of Animorphs, I am now on book 17 out of, I think there are like 64 books, but I'm only reading 62 of them. Um, so I'm going to do reviews for each book because they're really short, they're really tiny, and it's just difficult to do a proper review of each separate book. So what I'm going to do is once I finish that series, hopefully within the next month, month and a half, is I will do a series review by the time I finish. Other couple of books that I mentioned, which are Virgin, Keeper, and Dragon Haven. I will be reading once I'm finished with finals. I'm excited to read them. I'm really excited to read all three of those. I just couldn't pull it off during school because of chaotic work and other life things that have been happening lately. But another good thing that happened is I managed to squeeze in a spooky read this year. I reread, re I should say, and then there were none by Agatha Christie. And that was a really good life choice. I deviated from the books on my TBR and managed to um, incorporate that in. And I'm so glad I did. What I read this year, or within the last couple of months, I really liked. Some were only okay. Like, I really, really liked The Sea of Trolls. It was unique, it was fun, it was action-packed in a certain way. And I found out that it's actually a trilogy, and I'm hoping to pick up the other two books in the near future, if I can. Um, Redwall was okay. I found out the first book in the chronological order. It's the first publication order. And I'd like to read things chronologically, so I think because of that, I was at a bit of a disadvantage. And maybe if I start with the actual first book in the chronological order, maybe I might be more interested. But right now, I really am not too interested in going back into that world. And in terms of Tale of Despero, it was really cute, and I would recommend that to anybody. It's a really quick read, the font is really large, and it was just really cute. Um, Animorphs, I'm loving. There are some books that are better than others, but generally, it's just a really fun, fun series. A lot happens. Those poor children. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say for right now. Um, and then I know I'm going to love the Rainwilds series because it's Robin Hobb and it's part of the realm of the Elder Wings. And if any of you guys don't know this about me already, I love Robin Hobb. <laughs> And the Room of the Elderlings. Spend five minutes on my channel, he'll find that out. And uh, Origin is Dan Brown's next installment in his Robert Langdon series. And I'm super excited to read that. I've heard, you know, mixed things, but that's typical Dan Brown. Not It's not everyone's cup of tea. But I've liked pretty much all of his other books. So I'm really excited to jump into that. And uh, what's... I've been slowly making my way through for the last end of August, and I hope most, if not all, of these books by the end of the year. 
I'll keep you updated and I'll post reviews for them as we go. But that's pretty much all I've got for you today. So feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and follow me on any of the social media links that I've posted below. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Okay, bye.